All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be counting down the top five last minute tech gifts under $40. So you have this weird step, aunt, uncle, cousin, brothers, mother, sister, you have to get a gift for it and you have absolutely zero idea what he or she likes. You have no idea what to get. Well, that's what today's video is for. Just sit back, relax, and we're gonna go over the top five tech gifts you can get someone that are really cheap, under $40. So starting off from lowest to highest, I had at just $10 in the iPhone 6 case from Wawo, that's W-A-W-O. So I bought a multitude of cases, and this surprisingly is the best case that I have used for an iPhone 6. It fits like a glove, it's not too thick, it's really, really thin, which is a big thing for me because I don't really like using cases in the first place. The only reason I do for the iPhone 6 is because of the protruding camera. So it's not too thick, but it's thick enough to where it picks that protruding camera lens up off it comes in a sleek stylish design i love carbon fiber but it comes in multiple other designs you can look through uh, it has a soft plastic feel touch to it that feels really nice feels more premium than it really is and overall it's just a great case that's going to do a lot to protect your phone from the minimal damages that can occur uh, and not going to add a lot of bulkiness to it the one drawback is that the corners aren't overly protected so you could possibly end up with a cracked screen but i have never doubted that this case is strong enough to protect my phone so coming in at number two we have a 13 dollars blue cell case and you're going to notice this actually matches the carbon fiber i have on my phone like i said i'm a big fan and this is pretty simple it's just going to stop your case from getting dinged up and scratched. And again, it's not gonna add a lot of bulkiness to your MacBook Pro, and it comes in at just $13. So that's a really great gift you can give someone that's actually really useful, looks stylish, and is practical and helps, you know, if you have a student or something you're buying for who always has his laptop in his book bag, and it's gonna stop it from getting scratched up in his book bag and protect the resale value on it. Coming in at number three, I have a $15 pair of headphones from Sony. These are called the Sony NDRXZX series. You, I'll put a link description down below because I'm not positive I have all the letters and numbers right in that, but I swear by these things, honestly. If you are looking for someone or a kid who just needs something very basic to get them to the day. I really like these, they're very stylish. It comes in a nice white feel with these kind of chrome lettering on them. Uh, and it has this, they're comfortable to wear for multiple hours on end and they sit right on your ear. They sound basically good. There's nothing uh, too bad in there. It's a little bass heavy, not that much trouble, but that's what the kids like these days anyway. Uh, so we're all about that bass, no trouble. So I, I swear by these things, I recommend these. This is the best $15 I've ever spent on headphones, hands down. Coming in at number four, I have a pair of Jarred InMotion Bluetooth headphones as well. So headphones are really popular these days and there's a lot of different ones out there, but these are just $30 for a Bluetooth headphone set, which is really good. And once someone tries these, they will not want to go back using just basic wired headphones. So I'd recommend this if you know someone does a lot of outdoor activities, mowing the lawn, cutting the grass, works out a lot, I would highly recommend these. And the last thing I'm going to recommend is a Chromecast. And this is for anyone, especially if you're a kid watching this video and you want to get something for your parents or uh, for an uncle or an aunt, someone who's older than you and is not as tech savvy, I definitely recommend the Chromecast. So it works with Android and Apple devices, so you don't have to worry about what kind of phone they have. And even if they don't have either of those or if they don't even have a smartphone, you can do it from your computer as well. Secondly, it allows you to stream the most kind of common things you would find. So YouTube, Netflix, ESPN, and Hulu Plus are all streamable in there along with a bunch of other programs. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. If you have any questions, you can drop that in the comments down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and all the other social media that I'm on. All right, guys, it's been real. Until next time.